Texas A&M will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Play action. Room around the corner, and he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Caught with room to work. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And they make the stop at the 40. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Brought down around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 48.
Moss takes the toss left, and they hit him in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Gives it to the back. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's on the run. Owens gets about four yards on the play. Second down and six. Ball on the 31-yard line. And down he goes around the 32-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Listen to this place. And they got him. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Try to change the field position with his kick. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's taken down at the 30. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Rifles it over the middle. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Alabama's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. He might not be able to get the pass off. Lost the ball, fumble, the defense scoops it. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about, defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. I don't 
don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Deep pass to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Crimson Tide. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled right around the 34. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run up the middle. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and I'm first down, no less. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Good outside run there. Owens picks up about four yards on the play. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. To the 20. Here he goes. To the 10. Touchdown time. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. He makes the PAT. And we've reached the end of one. 14-0, Crimson Tide. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. That's a great tackle at the 19.
And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 24. They can't hear a thing down there. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. They get three yards on the play. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal game. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it to the 41. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Got a man, watch out here. And he's level at the 45. From their own 45-yard line. First down. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42. Screens work best when the offense allows the pass rush in. Men gets their blockers out in front. It's a simple plan, and it's very effective when everyone does what they're supposed to do. Caught out in the open, and they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. And this play is number eight on the drive. There's a fumble. He picks it up. And he's stopped behind the line. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He gets to about the 27-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. They're going to try a long field goal here. Yeah. 
It's up. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Zips it to the back. Second and 13, ball on the 22. Has some daylight. Runs outside for a nice game. You expect this every time you're here and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. And a quick throw brought down around the 39 yard line. From their own 39 yard line, first down. Now he's flushed and they got him. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 36. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 14-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Makes the catch and look out. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Yeah, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but you know, they're converting when they have to. This is the 11th play of this drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown AM. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receivers. 
And down he goes at the 23. Alabama's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Throws incomplete, knocked away. Throws it out there. This isn't how you get an offense going, and it can't help anybody's confidence. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. He throws it. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Takes it, and he's tackled short. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. We've played a half. The Crimson Tide in front. 17-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally... That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big something. plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you are doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All 
All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. Tosses it out. He fights forward to about the 30. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. So that'll make it fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He really got a hold of that one. And he can't hang on to the ball. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of return man is to catch the ball. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. McClellan on the run. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. He gets another carry. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. from their own 47-yard line. It's first down. Looking for the corner. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. He gets rid of this one. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. There's a strike complete. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First and 10, ball on the 30. Ready. 
Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's four yards on the play. The defense here let the halfback roam free for a second, and they were able to connect for a short gain on the play. Moss gets a call, and he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He makes it to the 25-yard line. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 17-10, Alabama. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. And they make the stop at the 48. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Alabama is up a score. He's going to try and scramble. He can run. He's at the 30, slides down. He had all kinds of running room there. Give credit to the quarterback here, recognizing the coverage and taking off for a big, big gain. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. the catch and the defense is all over him they bring him down for a loss and they back up three yards on that play not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that got him and he goes down quickly Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 18. Big play, and it's first and goal. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. From the one-yard line, second down. Alabama up seven points. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He makes the PAT. A 
and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run to the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 36. One thing about this quarterback is when the play breaks down, he has a way of improvising and getting positive yards. Nice run, and he's brought down. Owens comes away with five yards on the carry. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Tackle at about the 45. They'll give it off here. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Gets out to around the 12. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 24-10, Alabama. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he's level at the nine-yard line. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the five-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets to about the five-yard line. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Touchdown AM. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he converts the extra point. Texas A&M ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Alabama is up seven. 
Makes a grab and steps out right away. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 46. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. That's a great tackle at the 38. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. How about the hit by the defender? Just a great job of pursuing the ball, and that's how you finish off a tackle. Back to the running back, and he gets nowhere. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Alabama is up by a touchdown. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He fights forward to about the 19. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled around the seven-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the one. And he throws it away. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. So we're just about ready to return to action.
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Short over the middle. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. And he's going to be sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they get nice yardage on that run. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Less than three minutes in the game. Quick out to his receiver. And he's immediately tackled. Here we go. Three and eight. Three and eight. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets rid of this one. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. They can't hear a thing down there. He wants it all going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab the offense couldn't convert and that's going to cost him the possession and we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive well I say that Brad because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score and see if they can do it again so the Aggies taking their first time out of the half. From the 49-yard line, second down. Good outside run there. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first downs. And he tackles him hard at the 42. McClellan picks up a yard on the play. Texas A&M's out of timeouts. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He lost the ball. They fall on it. Well, if they're going to get back into this game, these are the kind of plays that they have to make. Maybe this will get them going. quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Throws complete and he's got space to work and he's tackled at the 38 yard line. Ready, 
Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. Keep those chains moving. Just a simple out route that time, and it was enough to beat the zone defense. From the 27-yard line, first down. He guns it. And he got it to the sophomore. Big, big touchdown through the air, and now it's a one-score game. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 54-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 31-24. down at the 41. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. On the ground with a tailback. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop at the 35. He did not get to the first down marker. A great game here today in a tight one. 31-24. Crimson Tide. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.